All right, welcome back. We're bringing the fast-paced show Iron Chef to life, and that includes the surprise ingredient. Then, once we have our wonderful dishes, the culinary experience will also be able to help you pair it with the perfect drink. That is where Rusty Wartman and CeCe Rossman come in. Thank you both so much for joining us this yes. morning. Thank Absolutely. you for having Thank us. Thank you for having us. And I'm a happy camper. I know it's early, but you have brought us some Stella Artois, which mm. I love. And now that's a Belgian beer, CeCe. What is it's it about Belgian beer. beers that is just so good? You know, Belgian beers are becoming a lot more popular. A lot of microbrews are starting to come out with the Belgian style more so. So it, they compare with a lot. You have a lot of citrus undertones that people compare with a lot of different dishes. So it's becoming more popular. Yeah, that citrus definitely tastes really, really good when you, you know, it's cold and you even put an orange in it in right. some of them. I love it. Now, I had no idea, Rusty, that you have all these different glasses for <laughs> beer. What, why do you have different ones and what are their functions? Well, a lot of it, especially with beer, is the each glassware basically, you know, most people think it's just marketing, but really what it does is it brings out the flavor and aroma of beer. So when you have the nice tie color of foam that a lot of people don't realize, it brings out the carbonation, flavor, and aroma of beer. And so what the glassware does is it helps each individual style bring out that flavor and aroma. So something like this, which is a Belgian, which is basically for a wheat beer. So what happens is you not only get to see you know, what's happening as far as the wheat beer down below, and you get to see it cascade, but you get a nice tight collar foam at the very top, and it helps trap that flavor and aroma. So when you take your first sip, when you take your first sip, then it just gives you a great vibrant flavor as you're drinking it. But then you have others like a brandy snifter, which is great for high alcohol beers or things that are bourbon barrel aged or very popular right now because you can swirl it vibrantly, but it also brings out that flavor and aroma. So each of the different styles has something a little bit to add to the different um, beer that you're pouring into it. So it's one of those things that a lot of people don't realize it, but glassware can really enhance your beer drinking experience. And now would all these glasses be chilled or is that just, you know, certain ones? Or would they, would they all be chilled? Well, you can, but you really want to make sure that they're a little bit, you know, a little bit cooler than room temperature. Mm -hmm. You don't want to put them in your freezer. You don't want to have ice cascading because what's going to happen is if there's ice inside the glass itself, then it's just going to foam up the beer. So you want to make sure that it's a good beer clean glass, take care of your glassware, and you're going to have a great beer drinking experience. This is so cool. So definitely don't just pop off the top and drink from the bottle. Never. <laughs> like, this is really an art form. And it's now easy. we're going to try a couple today, right? Ooh, we are exactly. going to try a few, yes. My favorite part. I know. I was so, so excited. We have Pooh Garden, which is a Belgium wit, which is actually brewed with citrus peel and coriander. We'll do a half. And now I know a lot there. of people have been mispronouncing this for yes. for a long time. We it is Who it Garden, Hull Garden but right? So it's Who Garden. Who Garden. It's kind of like Horton Here's a Who. There nice. You are. Thank, Thank you, you sir. Cheers. Did you like some? You can. All right. You're good. <laughs> the nice part about this glass is it's mm. an open base glass. So this you get a lot of orange peel, you get a lot of coriander, so it's big aroma, big flavor. Yeah. So you get the nice tight collar foam at the top. But what happens is the glass helps not only keep that collar foam, but also brings out the flavor and aroma in the beer. That this is, is what delicious. the kind of beer I want to drink during the summer. Mm -hmm. That and it's really good with like a fish-based food. So when you're at, um, for those who are going to Iron Chef this weekend, definitely try to pair that with a, a light dish, um, so you get that citrus undertone. I love Perfect. that. Perfect. Yeah. What else do you have for us? This one is going to be a very grand beer. This is Sophie from Goosan Brewing Company out of Chicago, Illinois. This is a Belgian farmhouse ale. And I've never seen a beer served out of a you know wine bottle looking thing. Well, oh, right, a wine glass. It it does look like a wine glass. And a wine it glass. is a little bit. Basically, it's the same premise. You know, you've got a little bit. You've got the cone shape at the bottom, and what that does is it helps bring up the color of foam to the top, and then you get a wide base at the top that you get the flavor and aroma coming through the beer. That's very different than the Who Garden. A little bit, yes. I love this. It's a little bit higher in percentage of alcohol, so it's about six point five. You can kind okay. of taste that too. But well, you also get the orange peel and you get a little bit of the white right. pepper coming through with a kind of a vanilla cream taste at the mm. end. Yes. How did you know that? <laughs> Way to put it. I didn't think of it. And then when you said it, I was like, that is what I'm tasting, <laughs> vanilla cream. Oh, do we have it. another one we're trying? We have, we one, have one more. more. Okay. Yep. Yep. We have the classic Stella Artois. Well, I already know how much I yeah, love the, Stella Artois. Classic, I mean, it's called the classic for a reason. Absolutely. Right, exactly. So this was actually originally brewed for Christmas and consumers enjoyed the flavor so much that it became a year-round product, oh, so man. brilliant. Cheers. Cheers. Is it weird that I Cheers. smell beer? People are like, "Why do you smell beer? It's not wine." Yeah, but you're supposed you do, to. Right? Yep, you're supposed. To. It's similar to um, sampling wine. You mm. have to mix it around. You do smell it. You're supposed to smell it under your nose. 
not directly under. Oh, yes. okay. I've been doing that too. Good no, to know. I don't want to run out of time, so I want to talk no. about the Iron Chef. Rusty, can you tell us a little bit about what to expect and any predictions that you might have? Well, the Iron Chef is happening on June 20th, Saturday at La Paloma. And basically, you not only have the Iron Chef, but you have the culinary experience. So you're going to have several people, you're going to have several groups, not only sampling uh, different foods, local foods that are out there, but we're going to be sampling different beers and wines that are going to be out there. The other part that's kind of nice is there's a lot of classrooms going on. So you have people talking about classrooms as far as barbecuing and different, um, different techniques on how to cook food, but we're also going to be doing a classroom on not only craft beer, but we're going to be doing on wine, and also I'm going to be doing a class on Belgian-style beers. And then after the culinary experience, we have the Iron Chef, where we basically have the two chefs fighting to see who's going to be the Iron Chef of Tucson this year. I love that. Guys, this was amazing. And, you know, thank you so much for bringing this. And I look forward to going to the Iron Chef. Absolutely. And everyone needs to get Stella Artois and all these delicious beers because they're awesome. Yes. They're amazing. <laughs> thank you for coming. Thank yes. you for having yes, us. Yes, thank you so much. And the Iron Chef Culinary Experience will take place on Saturday, June 20th, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. at Weston La Paloma. For more information, you can visit ironchefTucson.com.